What's up guys and welcome back to Learn to Play and welcome to the first episode of Mechanics 101. Mechanics 101 is going to teach the basics of just good practices so that you can do exactly what you want to do in the game without incurring any mistakes and also doing what you want to do flawlessly. So today we're going to be taking a look at selecting all the same units at the same time on the screen. There's two ways that you can do that. Control left click and double left clicking. Let's go into game and really quickly show what it does. So we are loaded into game and let's say we want to select all these probes that are mining right now. Of course we could do a drag and that's very easy. But what if there are probes over here and over here and over here and over here and they're all over the place? Well I want to select them all in a single hotkey or a single group very quickly. And I don't want to be dragging like this. That's a really bad drag. What that ends up doing is costing us a lot of time because the time it goes from to the top left to the bottom right does actually take a lot of time. And it takes a lot of accuracy, which makes you more prone to error. What if we go like this and we miss everything altogether? So what we wanna be doing is just making sure we're staying in this area. So what we'll do is either double click or control click. And I think double clicking is far inferior then control click. Now let me explain what double click is. We just double click on a single unit and we get all of them on our, on our control. This is bad because we don't want to be practicing double clicking. There are two instances where I can definitely see this being a problem. One is making a pylon or making a probe or making a, a gateway or anything. So let's say I want to make a gateway. It's BG, right? Well, I click a probe and I, and I tell it to go make it. What if I double click it on an accident? Now it doesn't happen that often, but because we've been training to double click consistently, we kind of tell our muscle memory to accidentally do that sometimes. And that's a big problem. So let's say I double click, I tell it to go over here and make a gateway. Wow, I just accidentally did this. It's just bad habits that we don't want to get in the habit of doing. The other problem is when a probe is moving. So let's say this probe is moving over here and I try to double click and I accidentally click on my nexus instead. Well now I just wasted a lot of energy doing things that I didn't want to be doing and I have to redo the same task. These are all part of mechanics, part of trying to do things a lot better and a lot easier. So the better way to do things is control click. And at the very basic level, you can see that it's half the time that it takes to double click. I know double clicking and single clicking is basically the same thing but when we're in a game of tiny little inches and we're trying to get those inches we're looking to do the things the fastest as we possibly can to move on to the next task because Starcraft is so demanding so instead of double clicking and having to worry about accuracy and precision and things like that and training your muscles to do things that you don't really want to do we're gonna hold control with our left hand and we're just gonna click a probe and voila we have everything in a single group this is far more useful because it's, as I said, half the time and it's more reliable. We can count on this always working. We don't have to worry about you know, missing the probe on the second click or anything like that. It's just a lot easier to do. So I hope this helps and stay tuned for more Mechanics 101.